There's so much great stuff in here. So let us talk about this new update. Fasten your seatbelts as we truck you into today's episode. As we decompose all the new stuff. Also, we are looking to meet all the new features. I guess you'll be hooked for this one while I'm fishing for compliments. Gosh, I care about this anymore. All right, before you drive bananas, <laughs> let's actually have a look at the brand new update of Prehistoric Kingdom, or at least in the uh, preview build. Actually, Rudy from the editing room here. You are going to see the actual build of the update. I just didn't recognize it did update in the background. And also a couple of errors you'll see, they are fixed. You'll see that at the end of the video. Now back to my past me. You potentially have seen the trailer of Prehistoric Kingdom Update 11. And as you've noticed, I did not really tackle this game too much lately. We are in my park that I've been driving for over a year now. Uh, if you're interested, there's a series on the channel, but that shall not be today's uh, episode. Today's video is about the Update 11. And honestly, this is really an amazing update in the right direction. I want to really go deep on it because this is the first time we've got so many features that Planet Zoo, for example, is lacking. And it's the first time that I'm really feeling like, oh my god, that is all a lot of stuff I love to have in other games that I haven't seen done in this way. And honestly, until today, we had a couple of great things in this game, like for example, the foliage brush or also, um, you know, scaling options. They're all nice, you know, they're nice, but... It's certainly nothing I couldn't do in Planet Zoo, for example, or Planet Cosa. You can still do a workaround, but what you cannot do is all these management aspects that we will find in this update. Let me quickly pause the game to show you things around here, because they are fantastic. Look, we've got some people around here. Potentially, you can recognize these people as staff members. This is one of the brand new things of this update 11. It brings in the entire staff management. As of now, we've got three different different types of staff. We've got the uh, carriers or how they're called. Let's quickly, you know, before I'm saying something wrong, let's actually go into the park management and look into the staff management. You can see we have got keepers, laborers and cashiers. So you can hire them all and then you can see they're all in here and you can, oh my god, there are so many available. Um, let's just quickly go on hyper. Oh, that's that's not good. There's something, it's a beta, okay? Don't, don't take this for granted. Um, I was able to hire some early on. This, there was just an update pushed, so no worries. It's going to be fixed before the public release. Um, so uh, this one is a, uh, you know, as you can see over here, a logistics like a person. And then we've got the cashier over here. And I don't know where the keepers are roaming around. Then we obviously have some new facilities and so on. The restaurant uh, was added, I, I believe, in the last one. But now we obviously also have cashiers over here that do interact. People go over here to grab some of the foods in here. And funny enough, now we also have a usage for food, or basically, better say, we now have an origin, a source for the food, because now we've got production items. As you can see, all these buildings are actually individual modules. There you can see this is a produce station for fish, this is a produce station for fruit, this is one for meat, this is one for plants, and this one over here is a mix station that does everything a bit of it you know and the good bit about this good bit of it <laughs> the good bit about this is that um if you start off with a smaller one you can obviously start with the mix station and the bigger you grow you need more of the individual items um it's going to be available as you can see over here this is what it would produce in the current situation and there's also the need for compost and compost as you can tell and you've seen in the a fundamentally great introduction today is uh, one of these buildings over here. No dung production is halted. Yeah, I don't really have that any that many animals. This is why we don't have that much dung available. Um, you can see there are just a couple of habitats. There's one habitat over here. Um, that is maybe producing some dung, but it's not really that much. You can see there is a bit over here. Um, but other than that, uh, we do not have that many. Our velociraptors are somewhere in here, I believe. Yeah, you would, you know, you would need to put some uh, stations, dung stations, on uh, closer to your habitats, and I would definitely require to start a new park at some point because this Jurassic Park build obviously had a completely different intention. This is maybe the area which produces the most dung, so I should definitely turn that into an actual habitat. As of now, it's not an actual habitat. This is just a, uh, this is just a huge station for animals and it's like a open wild but if we click on the feeder for example over here you can see this is what the plant feeder serves and you can see it has 300 kilograms um 
of food on the plate, you know, which serves the animals. And you can even switch that out into different types of food if you want to. So at the moment we've got uh, herbivore stuff over here, so plants and 300 kilograms of plants. And if we go over for, over again over here, my God, the sensitivity is actually crazy. Um, and we click on the, let me just open this real quick. And just go in, please. There you go. The uh, fruit station, for example, could produce um, compost, actually. That's kind of, it does need 300 kilograms of compost, but it can produce 750 kilograms of fruit. Or if we go, for example, the meat can also 750, 750, 750 seems to be the thing, um, which means uh, this is what you need to produce in order to get 300 down. So you will actually need quite a lot of these buildings eventually if you have that huge habitats to feed in. But you obviously also have stock storages now where you can store some of your stuff so you have meals stored in here we've got also merch stored in here and these things obviously come over in the loading bay as you can see over here um, at the moment you've got meals incoming merch plants meat you can obviously also buy all the stuff but you can also block deliveries so at some point if you have enough production on yourself you can then just say you know what i just don't want to buy all the stuff because i'm producing this myself to save your pockets or your money uh, you are not going to purchase that anymore and you've got uh, these loading bays and you can obviously turn that on individually for each bay. And then you can also grab some new trucks in here. And if I hit play for a second, uh, you will see they appear over here, the trucks. And eventually they will load and unload. Unfortunately, they are just disappearing into the void. I would really love to be able to have like a an actual road that can connect to an outside point where we can actually see the trucks go. That would be even fancier. But yeah, so that's that. We also know for certain that there will be some vehicles, I believe, in the future. At least it's something I have seen. Um, and you can see them also roaming around. We also have news about the... Uh, fossil center so finally you can go into excavation um, I have unlocked everything so this is like sandbox but you can now do this in challenge mode and you can start the excavations of animals um, the locations and dig sites are pretty much as you would expect the at least at the moment known locations a bit similar obviously down to the fact that it's based in real life um, similar to Jurassic World Evolution. Now, you can see there is so much in here. I could even show more, but the most stuff uh, I've already seen uh, and you can make a counter of how many times I say staff in this episode or in this video, I shall say. Um, we can also see if we can see more people. Also, let me see if I hit play, if we maybe can hire some more stuff in here. I'm just, I'm just clicking. I'm just hiring them, whatever. I can do this. Look at that. Um, I'm hiring just some more keepers just to see if we can roam, uh, see them roaming around because they will eventually come out of the stuff center then. Uh, look, there are all our new people just to see how they're looking. Our staff members over here coming in like a ranger. Um, at the moment, which is a little bit of a... Maybe I haven't seen it, but you can't recolor them. Um, not sure if you can do this in here. Did I see anything? Not really. But you can see what they're doing. You can fire them. Or you can improve the skill or they learn over time at the moment. Um, they're idling around over here. As you can see, they don't really have a job. And to make them access areas, we do now have, and this is something we can showcase over here. I mean, I said this is no habitat at the moment because we would need to fix this as a habitat parameter. And you can see, actually, I have done this. Um, so if I do go in now and get them some wonderful gates they're brand new we can plop them in boom there you go and now once we have done this you can click on that and you get a modular group however we don't really have a habitat as of now so what we need to do is we need to finish this off as a habitat and therefore it's always good to use the habitat marker and i believe this is down to this area over here that is not connected so if I would actually connect this, where's the fence going further? There you go. Connect this over here. I think the game is doing its magic and we should be able to see the habitat in a bit. Let's see if it is already done. No, it's not. Um, maybe I have another hole in the fence somewhere over here. We definitely have to quickly check this because otherwise this is... Oh my god. Oh my lord. How big is that actually? So it's going all the way through here. And this is the central area in there, going all the way around. I think maybe there is an opening. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. This might actually be the issue. So if I'm going to put this through here, there you go. Now we have done our habitat. Um, and if we click on, on here, there you have your enclosure number eight. And now they can access this via this gate. But better than in any other game or in some other game, you know, you can plop in as many 
gates as you like which i think is pretty cool you can also exchange the type of the gate as you can see over here and it comes in various height variants various height variants whatever and you can obviously also change this color and blah 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 so gate and then you can change the gate to metal but look there's also some options for the future yeah anyways there's so much more stuff in here uh, for them to access the habitat and you can see over here these are all these things you can just put in some light um, very easy to access but then you have got our habitat and at the moment you can see there is not really enough updated i think it takes a while until the habitat is updated um, so uh, maybe that's the reason why it's relatively big isn't it so yeah so this is how you do the habitats by now I'm not sure why the animals don't show in there but hey this is uh, as i said the beta branch so i'm not really sure uh, if it's all updated already right now but it looks fantastic um as i can tell there is so much more depth in here all of a sudden and it feels so much more like a game before it was a good sandbox you know it was a good builder but now it feels like a proper game um and i'm not sure if i can make the keepers go into some of the habitats i mean i did put a gate over here and i'm also not sure if i need to put a like a couple of things i didn't really see if if it's necessary or not i don't even know if i need to put like a path down in order to make the uh keepers go here so i don't really know but if you look for example at the habitat over here you can see um there at least is now the tropical stuff is recognized and you can see um, some info about this, but it also doesn't tell me anything about the animals in here. So, yeah, we'll see how this turns out. We obviously also have some new animals. Um, and if I go showcase that to you real quick before we then even have, uh, however, no animals, nothing. Hey, wait, I, I want to, I want to do something. Why can I not do this? What's the problem? Where is the problem? I need to, I need to get some... Normally I can I can do this right now, but I can't. So Peloperia, uh, let's see if I can if I, if I can get them out of the menu right now. Ah, there you go. Okay, no, no, I don't know why this didn't work. Again, it's just like a um, preview build um, for testing. I will actually give some feedback on that later on. Uh, but there are some new animals uh, available now, and we can get them in. So it's actually I think this one is new. Um, the Blitzosaurus over here. Look at that one very nice and we also have a different variant of that this one they actually said previously that they will start to make these animals be separated from each other when they are from different i feel like time time periods or so or areas or whatever i'm not entirely sure what that is it's not my stronghold there you know and then we have our little feathery friend the oh my god i can't pronounce that the uh, lealinosaurus is there like i need you to pronounce that for me I definitely need an AI for that in the future, <laughs> just with my voice and have the perfect pronunciation of that one. So yeah, we have these ones in here and a couple of new animals that were added in the last update. Uh, as I said, I haven't been too much on that, but this isn't even all. I, it, I'm very sorry. It's so much. It's such a chunky update. I would love to see such an update for Planet Zoo in the future, but I'm sure we don't. Um, like little things like different gates are already like you can just plop it here and then you can see this one is open and and you know they can just do certain things with it i wonder where all my keepers are gone but anyways um we also have new items and now there is a new update down here you can see this is now called the modular pieces or the modular prefabs so they did two different menus for that which i'm a big fan of and then we have terraforming over here they cleaned a lot of these icons which i do like you know uh, the different um, biomes now get actual icons it may have been that they have already added that in the last update as i said i don't know but at least it's kind of new um and what we do now have is a lot of backstage props i'm not sure if backstage uh oops searching for backstage does already do the trick um da backstage okay well it's not all named i mean potentially it's just because of they are named as they are yeah that's what it is um so we can also or maybe can we filter this by let's see basic stone arid modern as i would say it's modern and then go to all okay well it doesn't do it it doesn't do it let's go actually to the pieces and say props because i know that there are a lot of backstage props in here there you go there you have it look they're all in here we've got a construction cone we obviously have a wonderful wheelbarrow we've got a hose we've got all this tools we need you know basically what this update comes with uh, that the people are using anyways uh, you will be able to have i think these buckets we already had but like a little letter and then like a bigger letter and we've got some crates some 
containers, which are very good for those of you who want to rebuild all the Jurassic Park scenes. You have that as well, a pallet, uh, the very obvious pallet that everyone needs. Uh, we also have some shop items. I believe we already had them. Not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, very nice to have them because like all this backstage stuff is very welcome. Not sure if there's more in here, differently named maybe. Yeah, okay, no, it, it doesn't seem like that is much more than this. Uh, there are some more crates, obviously, in here. Look, oh, oh my god, I like this one. Look, you can even make that for a street, like, bum, bum, bum. Oh, I love it. We've got some barrels, and they obviously took a lot of inspiration from the builds they already did, so where the prefabs are in, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. I wonder if, if park props are all new, but I believe, no, 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 these crates have been in here already, I remember them. So it's, it's not all new, but a lot of these things are new. Look, I mean, look at that. This is all in for the wet dreams of people who want to build backstage areas. Honestly, this could also easily be called the backstage people DLC. Uh, because this is what people love to do. They love designing their backstage areas. Um, we also have some of the new animals roaming around. I don't see them right now, but maybe, maybe we can spot them by zooming out maybe i don't believe that this is the way to go um but i wonder if there is a way to see them let's have a little looky look okay it's not really that easy to see them over here all right never mind i was stupid and i completely forgot that i have been on the wrong branch this is now the public release i haven't noticed that this is this is the public release and i wasn't uh, switching back to it now uh, everything works just fine i just quickly show you in order to make you a uh, certain look there's no uh, problem anymore you can hire these people easily now from the menu as it should be that was just my my bad and also this is why my animals were gone um, I'm gonna plop them down just for you guys so you can see them uh, just gonna quickly put them down here just so we can have a little look at them these animals uh, just making sure that we can quickly look at them it's not like a huge showcase I don't want to go into all of the animations and so on just showcasing you these animals real quick nothing too crazy you know there are the animals they look absolutely fantastic. I um, I really have to say, like, every animal they bring in looks just absolutely cool. I love the fact that this is such a difference. Like, it's the perfect mixture between Jurassic World Evolution and Planet Zoo for me because they are more accurate, like, animals and they're not so jurassic fied uh, like, from the franchise, you know what I mean? It's all good. It's, it's all exactly how it should be. And before we end this uh, overview video, a couple of little things I want to quickly talk about because they would easily be neglected, I think. But they have done a stellar job in the pathfinding of the people. I must say that. Um, I, You know, it's still not on top because they still don't go in these areas. It's like very busy over here, but also it's kind of down to my bed because there's not really that much going on. Like you can obviously go over here into our Velociraptor area, but there is barely anything else apart from the animals. Like there's no shop, there's nothing for them to go there so there's no real reason for them to move actually there the same goes for our big habitats over here it's like a bit more with these little buildings and i need to plop certain things in like the pool and stuff is everything is cosmetic you know it's nothing in here usable because when i was building this um it like there was no reason for doing that but now you can tell and they're using the pass it's looking like an actual crowd it's looking a lot more believable um you know that it's been one of my biggest complaints about this game, like how lifeless and soulless these people seem to be. And going up close, I, you know, I still think not really that much has changed. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on in life? Anyways, but from the distance, like they have all a very bad mood. Uh, but from the distance, it's all a lot more believable. And I'm absolutely down to uh, seeing what they are capable of in the future. The direction they're going is absolutely fantastic. And a couple of things I want to quickly show you is, look at this guy over here running now from left to right. Um, I really do like this, the, the change of pace. Also, I'm gonna go into the normal speed so you can see how it's in normal speed. Don't I don't really know what's going on here with this little almost shadowing, ghosting when they're running around. I think there's some, some things about my graphics. Is that my mistake? Uh, let me quickly put this all back to cinematic and apply that and see if it's still happening. Maybe it's on my end. Yeah, there's a kind of weird little effect. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe you guys see, don't see that on the video anyways. Um, I gotta sort that out. This one looks a bit more normal. I don't know. But yeah, they just come out uh, with these goods then and carry them around. I absolutely adore seeing them being around. I like that, like busy like bees. Um, really, really, really do like this. Honestly, this update, ah, oh, 
I don't really have the time at the moment, but I really almost wish like to start something new. I don't know. Depends a little bit on what you guys say. If there's a lot of interest in that and so on, uh, we can see what we can do about this. Or maybe just stream this eventually. Uh, because honestly, that is a chunky update. And maybe we will even try to play this as a game. Like really try if we can get the mechanics up and running and, and see how the balancing is, because obviously I can't really say anything about the but the balancing at this moment. Oh, by the way, we also have some new spawners. Where did I put this? Somewhere over here I put a new star. That's a new guest spawner over here. Um, so yeah, again, I am very, very positively surprised. When the trailer dropped and uh, kind of a clever move that they did this via IGN, um, I really was like, hey, that's, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Um, so yeah, I'm really really positively surprised as you can tell from my voice and from this video hope you guys like this um insane introduction to today's video <laughs> it was hard it was it was hard for me okay um but yeah no this is this is fantastic if you guys are here for some more updates of this game and other games and you haven't subscribed in the past please let me know also um one thing um i want to say about subscribing to the channel uh we've been moving forward we are into the 90s now big thanks to all of you and also there are still 60 percent of people who come constantly to my channel who are not subscribed so this is either because you don't know where the button is i can tell you it's the bottom right you can just press it's for free i guarantee you or it is because youtube is actively unsubbing you yes that's the thing you've heard that right it happened to me it happened to others so please check if youtube decided to unsub you sometimes youtube just does that to clean whatever i don't know what they're doing but sometimes that just happens so please check out because it means the world to me to reach these 100k soon and I can't do it on my own. I need you guys for that. So if you would be so kind to sub to the channel, again, it doesn't cost you anything. And if you like the content, it also doesn't hurt you. So thank you so, so much. Hopefully you guys are as excited for more of this game in the future. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. See you in the next one. And goodbye. I meant I wish you a good day. <laughs>